Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be answering your questions, uh, which I asked on Instagram. So, uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you missed out. Uh, you're going to have to ask the next time I do one of these. Uh, what team I'm going to be riding for next year, that is CC Plonquit, which is based in Brittany. French club, uh, and I'm really looking forward to a uh, you know change of scene, change of everything. And uh, yeah, I'm racing and living in France next year. So prepare for some cool content, some French content. Will I learn to speak French? Who knows? We'll find out. Anyway, oh uh, yeah, we're racing in France, and we're allowed onboard bike cameras. So uh, you best be ready for all the power overlay videos and cool. Yeah, the content should be getting better. So subscribe. I've got two. Two goals really. Uh, essentially, they're both UCI racing. I really want to do. I plan to do some UCI track racing. I had like three or four planned for this year, which would have been awesome. Obviously, that didn't turn out. So uh, UCI track racing. Really looking forward to that. Get some Madisons. I really want to try an individual pursuit. Never done one of them before, but I feel like it would suit my sort of range. So I want to give it a try. Uh, yeah, and just UCI track racing. And then on the road, I really, really want. It's my last year under twenty three next year. I really, really want to do some uh, under-23 road racing, uh, so I'm going to see what opportunities arise and uh, go from there. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I know, dog. I don't know. Hopefully, I could join after a long and prosperous pro career in the pro peloton at the world tour level. You know, after I've won all the big races, world champs, Tour de France, Giro d'Italia, Milan San Remo. Like I said, yeah, indoor track racing, absolutely. I had invites to uh, UCI track races in, uh, well, quite like Germany, France, uh, America, but two in France, there's one in St. Denis, I don't know where that is, and that's probably not how it's pronounced in French. But I had an invite to one there, and another one to one in Le Mans. I had to pronounce that one, because it's not Le Mans. I'm not, I know my French, it's not Le Mans, haha. <laughs> Well, you know what, I thought mountain bikes were pretty cool until I made a TikTok with a road bike in it and I got absolutely roasted. Absolutely roasted. So, uh, you, you guys, you're not cool, okay? You think you're cool because you go on dirt roads and you go a little bit round dirt corn. No. No, sorry. This is beef. Road cycling's cool, okay? Put, put it down in the comments what's cooler, road cycling or mountain biking. You tell me. I think the best tip, which literally like every person will tell you, is to enjoy it. Because uh, if you're not enjoying it, there's like if, it's not going to work out. If, if you're hating it, all the training, it's not going to work out. Don't get me wrong. We all have the days where we just we don't want to ride the bike, but you have to enjoy it for the most part, and uh, that's the main thing. And then you just have to have focus. If you, consistency, consistency is king, and it's true. You uh, you train consistently. Uh, and that and yeah, it makes a difference. Try and be savvy with everything. Like I, I would say, I'm the sort of person I look into every little detail to find. Like I don't like saying marginal gains. It's a bit of a cliche at this point. But look into every avenue where you might be able to improve. Never get complacent in any sort of area with the cycling. You know, always look for opportunities to improve and learn. I still look at videos, like beginner videos, sometimes just to see. I might pick up a tip or two on on YouTube. So uh, yeah, it's uh, always always be prepared to learn stuff. Motivation for 25 hour weeks, uh, yeah, sometimes if you're like a couple weeks in and you're in that horrible week, m for me, it's almost always the rest day. I'm like, I count down the days, okay, uh, this many days on a rest day, and I just think about how I'm going to enjoy that rest day and do absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing, because I, I think that's really important. At least for me, it gives me something to, I know it's bad to like look forward to not riding a bike, but you know, I find it's a good motivator to, uh, to get through it and just know, and that feeling when you've got to that rest day and you've completed your block, and you've done every interval to the T, it's, it's, it's very satisfying. I did a 10 day block last week, and uh, yeah, I was just thinking about getting to the end, and uh, when I finished it, I was so proud of myself. So uh, yeah, it's nice, it's a nice feeling. Which city do I like the most of training? Uh, you know, everyone likes to say their home rows, but you know what, my home rows, they aight, they okay, they cool or whatever, but nah, Calpe, it's a bit 
cliche at this point because literally all the pros like everyone goes to Calpe. Like, I feel like I'll go to Calpe and I'll see ten times as many people I know as if I just was on my home roads. Like literally last year, for like the first time or like the second time ever, someone saw me in public and recognised me. I feel like I'm actually famous. Yeah, he had some uh, like licorice. Um, I just remember the licorice. That's all I remember. But yeah, he seemed like a cool guy. But anyway, yeah, he boosted my ego a little bit. Hopefully, I don't get too big for my boots. But yeah, no, I do like Calpe. The roads are really smooth. Uh, it's nice riding and you've almost always got someone to ride with even if you go on your own. So uh, yeah, really nice. And uh, just generally the vibes in Spain are a lot more chilled out I find just everywhere across the board. So uh, yes, Calpe. So my FCP is about 385 at the moment, 390 if I'm feeling a little bit confident. It's not really relevant to me too much. Uh, that's like my least impressive power number because uh, your boy is not a time trialist. But uh, yeah, it's all about how you use it. You know, it's not about it's not about the fight and the it's not about the size of the it's not about the size and the dog. Or, it's about the fight, the dog and the. F it's not about it's not about the size of the dog. It's about the f the fight and the dog. The dog and the the size. It's not the size of the fight and the in the dog. It's it. The dog can fight. Okay. I don't know who asked this question. I don't know. I've got some sort of problem. Like I just. I'm always, you just, I need lots of ketchup, like I don't, people have one little dip for chip, no, you need like, if you, you can't be having dry chips, okay, you need ketchup, you need, or barbecue sauce, not mayo, I don't, I don't mess with mayo and chips, ketchup, barbecue sauce, sweet chilli sauce if you're feeling a bit zesty, but not mayo. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I am based in Brittany next year, so uh, that's what I'll be for most of the year. Uh, I will come back for a few races over here, you know, here and there, national championships for one. That would be cool, last year under 23, see what happens. Um, maybe a couple crits as well. Uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, I like crits, crits are fun. Like, but I, I feel like I'm a MotoGP rider, which, funnily enough, was actually what I wanted to be when I was a child, so uh, yeah. Okay, so my favourite descent, it's uh, in Calpe, or near Calpe, uh, from the top of a hill called Pinos, I think it's called. It's the uh, Jalon side. Uh, I remember going down that with my mate James when I was out there in January, and that, like, that is a gnarly descent. It's just a cool descent. It's uh, one of the nicest ones I've been on. It's got all sorts of... It's just gnarly. It wasn't a good descent if you didn't nearly die at least three times. That was a weird way to do three. Uh, how do we do it? Three times. Uh... Yeah, you need to, if you didn't nearly die, then it wasn't a good descent, that's how it works. I don't promote dangerous riding, okay? Yes. Don't get me wrong, I love the Perth Chaining. I love the Perth race, it's a great race. But the New Forest Chain Gang, it's called the Tri Ride, that's it. I don't know why it's called that, I think it was actually started by triathletes, which uh, is almost blasphemy, but we'll let it slide. Um, the Tri Ride, that's like, that's part of my heart, you know. I've suffered. So, like, so many, the accumulated hours of probably, oh, so much, so much pain on that ride, but I, I don't know, I love it. It's made me who I am today, you know? It's a great ride, it's a great ride. Now, I do actually, it's a really nice route, um, and yeah, it's just a good fun, good fun hit out, lots of great memories. This is actually some classified information, but uh, my peak power is actually 1826. I think it's like, let me just double check that. 1826, that was like super, super fresh. Um, so I don't expect to hit that anytime soon, because, uh, yeah, I was, I was pinging. I was pinging. Best cafe in Hampshire, uh, Cafe Bello. It's, uh, it's in Ringwood. It's a, I've only been there, like, two or three times, but, like, when you think of a cyclist cafe, this is, this is that. They've got, like, they've got, obviously, good, uh, cakes and stuff, um, they've got, they've got, like, a bike room to put your bike, so it's inside and safe. They've got a mechanics area, so if you need spares, they got all that sort of, it's just, like, Fully kept it like, which is really cool. Honourable mention though, Elite Beach Cafe. It's so in Leap, which is my, probably my favourite place to ride past. Uh, I don't know why, it just is. Um, and the Millionaire Shortbreads there. I have raved so much. It's, it's the best, it's the best Millionaire Shortbread in the world. Um, it's, yeah, that's, it's, it's the best. There is no, there is no competition. Uh, yeah, it, people flock from around the world to get the Millionaire Shortbread from there. It's very good. 
Um, and also I just don't like stopping on rides, especially if it's a long ride, and especially if it's winter. I just don't want to stop in winter, because then you get warmed up, then you go out and then you get cold. It's just, nah, I do not like stopping. I'd rather just ride and enjoy uh, getting warmed up when I get home. So uh, that's just how I roll. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the question. This is probably going to be a really long video. So uh, if you've watched this far, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give subscribe, give a like. Uh, thanks for watching, I said that already. Uh, see you later.